morning Staffordshire searcher out in the field with Steve and the rest are joining us today Steve managed to get us all on this one permission sorry about the noise we're next to the motorway um, this is the field Steve pulled the Roman up we only had two hours that day so we're hoping to have a little bit more of a look gonna explore the other fields and then head back to it after so I'll see what we find well, after finding loads of green waste guys I've managed to find an earring it doesn't feel as heavy as gold white gold that is it doesn't feel like silver I just think it's um, costume jewelry but here we go and guys next one I would say is a fired musket ball and it's hit something sketchy 12 that was all jumping all over the place one good thing is we actually came here to um, find something for the farmer we found it so happy days Steve's gone return it back to the car because it's a big thing and uh, hopefully we have a nice happy farmer now hey guys been joined by the clan Ron Steve is already here and Dave is uh, where's Dave see if we can change it pissing around down there and this lucky bastard stepped on the field done my research with it shut up Siri and he's had two Romans in the same hole He's literally, he's parked there, walked here, and got two Romans already. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking you get, guys, but I think I'm right on the markings. So we're going to stay here. We're going to keep searching. Definitely. Let's find some more Romans. Let's find some fibs. Let's have fun. And let's say hello to Dave when he turns up. Say hello to David. Bonsoir. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got all excited. I even shouted Steve over. And it was sitting in the floor like that. Buckle. I thought it was a fibula. <laughs> Fuck. I've had naff all for ages, guys. I found a piece of lead. I thought I'd show you because it looks like like this one side of an ampulla. So there it is. But I'm gonna try the air detector out soon. Before Steve goes. Oh, well, yeah. Mr. Fucking Golden got Bollocks with his Romans. Here you go. Here presented with something. I'm wrong. not fucking going yet. I might find six more. No, but you've got you got me do my army. Well done, well Golden done. Golden Bollocks. <laughs> Cheers for the permission. Yeah. Solid eleven. Turn it off. Can't remember what these are. Turn it Hair clip, Roman tweezers. I can't remember. Let us know in the comments come to check out another bit of the field and we've got uh, a little queen usual penny now I've been after a crotal ball <laughs> because I've never had one but I managed to get this tiny little ball and it's a ringer <laughs> I don't know what it's from Well guys, all the lightweights have left me. I'm on the field in my own now. I've had uh, two more coins, a George and a Victoria. And look at this, a cannonball. <laughs> Never found one. I think it's wicked. I'm gonna get it electrolytes and cleaned up and waxed and everything. Let's carry on for an hour though, eh? And another coin with plenty of bronze disease going on on it. Pretty modern by the look at that around the outside. Don't know what that one is, but it's super rusty. Got some sort of pin on the back of it. Modern iron core, I'm guessing. Well, oh, that's a pretty cool badge. A miner's badge. 1912. North Staffordshire Miners Federation. And two pins on the back of it. And another cartwheel penny. Or a druid one. They're the ones normally with them edges on them. Getting bloody lucky with these. So, guys, back home. Long day. Absolutely knackered. Got some finds. I'll show you these. There we go. Georgie, Penny, Cartwheel. See the Britannia across the top there. This mining token, which is pretty well. Badge, pretty cool though. It's a penny, and I think it's George II or William. 
Another George. Absolutely rotten one. Don't know what that thing is. But there's a lot of iron core coming out the middle of it, so I'm guessing it's uh, modern. 5p penny, something like that. Then we've got the whatever this thing was. Cannonball. Unsure on this. So let me know in the comments. I thought possibly Roman tweezers. Bit too thick for a hairpin, so I don't quite know what it could be, but it's obviously normally your pins for your tractors and stuff would be iron, so it's a strange one. Me a little bell, ringer. Them, which I think are splatty musky balls, found them by the um, cannonball. Silvery ring. See the stamp on it there? 95. Modern penny. 5p, 5p. Olive, typically. Of course, it was a ring. Uh, number 49. This finger I thought was a. Uh, oh, I can't think of the word. Whatever it is, it says made in China, uh, made in Canada on the top of it, though. Whatever that little thing is. This was a strange one. 46 pences. I'm wondering if it was like a roll of six pences. And then random harness strap mount, rolled leather, uh, rolled lead. Unfold it, see if there's anything on the inside. Nah. There is some etchings on it, but no. That little bit of lead. And that big buckle, that look like a bloody fib sticking out like that. That's all. And we've got a little treat. Thank you to ArcMD. Air detector. So I'll be testing that in the next few days, do a um, air test on it, and then we'll take it out in the field, see what it's like out there. Um, honest review as well, I won't bullshit it up. If it's crap, it's crap. But so far, when Dave gave me the box, it was like, is there a metal detector in this? It's very, very light. So guys, if you like the video, remember like, subscribe, share the love. Nearly at 250, come on. See you later.